So we're going to ta start talking about the color series and painting track at this point. We also have uh, the teacher's photos here as well. So we have additions to this track, I believe, this year in the intro to Chinese painting, but there's going to be a lot of the color-based things happening here. So a little, let's move forward. So we're going to start with the basic, the beginner intermediate oil painting track. So with the oil painting, one of the things that we've kind of learned over going online is that we've had really high success rates with oil painting online because of the way that we've been able to teach it in live demos that are going on the entire time that students can follow along with the teacher instead of it being more demo and health based. Um, all of these are student works. These are student works from their first and second paintings as well. So that's pretty phenomenal at that point to see that kind of progress that quickly. Um, this is one of those classes that I, if you have not in, been oil painting consistently and you took it last year, you should probably review it. It's a large topic that takes a lot of time to kind of wrap your head around. Painting is pretty complicated and we've got some really, really good teachers in it. So it's a really good opportunity to kind of take, take advantage of those. But the beginner intermediate is the first step and it's primarily black and white to simple color still life. Then we get into this one step more advanced, focusing on more complicated still lifes. Now you're gonna see these are all still student work and they're all really, really strong, but they start dealing with much more organic shapes, designs on bases, metals, more complicated formats for their actual compositions and uh, stressing higher like expectations on the students for value patterns and things of that nature. So heading into more complicated topics. And that's just where this goes, is that it goes into more and more complicated. Still life and landscape is the next step in that. This is where you start seeing some very, very amazing floral paintings, very complicated patterns, translucencies. Student work is really, really strong in these areas and hitting multiple topics at the same time. So they're not locked into one. They're also getting to explore with landscape as well. So really, really great class. And it's the beginning where you're gonna start seeing some very strong possible portfolio pieces coming out of this class very, very easily. So I think it's worth, it's worth taking a look into. Oil painting for pets and animals, much like the drawing and sketch class, this is your opportunity to break away from still life. Painting a live object, something object, a live creature, something that is a little bit, you know, a little bit more difficult to wrap your head around than something that's static. It's going to be photo reference. There's going to be a lot of soft edge versus hard edge control. It's also that first time to start expressing emotion within the painting, painting the live eyes of something and capturing a lot of that, those elements to it. So we have a lot to cover, so I'm going to keep moving. And it just keeps getting more and more advanced within the color series track on the oil painting side of it. We have the portraits. These are all student works and fantastic. Very different topics from each other, all three done very, very well. This is where a lot of your black and white drawing and sketch work comes to pay off, though, by the way. So doing those portraitures in black and white, you've got to do these things before you hit this because you're going to take those same skills, those same value-based plain change, soft versus hard edges, and then apply color to it. How does color temperature affect it? How to maintain co value control as you're utilizing color, which becomes very complicated as we go forward. So getting into the more advanced one, and then we get into the first of the actual portfolio development classes. So oil painting, cityscape, and landscape. Um, the paintings that come out of this class, it's one of the most advanced of the oil painting class, if not the most advanced of the oil painting classes that we offer at this moment. Um, almost everything I've come out of this class is portfolio worth, worthy and definitely worth going into art contests, such as scholastic art and writing. This is a class where they will focus on two paintings throughout the entire week, and they really, really dig into these paintings and really, really push them. Um, even if you look into just this picture of everybody's painting here, everybody's painting is impressive at this point. Um, and highly recommended for people that have gone through those intermediate courses and are ready to take something of this nature and ready to start building competition-based as well as portfolio-based things for supplement as in other objects. So the other of the portfolio development classes is the Seascape. So personally, I love Seascape. It's a great topic, great color usage happening in here with these warms to cool and rolling kind of textural elements. 
So another big kind of art contest and portfolio development for technical skills to move them forward. These last two classes are really, really good for people that are in the advanced and just bordering into high intermediate advanced to start building those pieces and pushing themselves even further. So we're changing into watercolor at this moment. So we have a uh, basic techniques and still life in the color track. So it's an introduction into watercolor. Um, mix and color kind of layer based methods, how to utilize different different techniques within applying it to the, the paper. But um, just basically what is the strategy behind it, how to mix different colors, how to express things with brush strokes, and how the basic medium functions in general. And this is the step moving into landscape and architecture, which is a little bit more advanced, taking those same skills and pushing them into more complicated topics. Um, and you'll see a broad variety of topics from distant cityscapes to nocturnes with stars to seascapes. A lot of really lovely things in watercolor and definitely worth exploring. So, and then introduction to Chinese painting. So I know this is going to be a, uh, a very kind of simple introduction into it. I'm not very well versed in Chinese painting, I have to admit, but I do know that the stuff that comes out of it has always been very impressive to me. Um, and this is going to be a very good place for people to learn some of the basics of it if they haven't been able to deal with it before. It's a very kind of, it's, it's an introduction into the topic itself and color usage, I believe pen and ink and watercolor, not pen and ink, it's brush and ink and watercolor. <laughs> so, um, so highly recommended for people that are interested in the topic and haven't been able to explore it up to this moment. 